Superfood Evolution presents a fermented kombucha tea recipe. Making your own kombucha tea can be a great thing when you love kombucha as much as we do. The reason for this is because you get lots of homemade kombucha to drink whenever you want it and you can tailor the ingredients and length of fermentation time to your own liking. There are many commercial kombucha drink products these days, offering a wide assortment of flavors and medicinal ferments. But if you are one of those people who likes to drink it on a regular basis, it can end up being quite expensive at three to four dollars a bottle. Once you get down the technique, kombucha is incredibly easy to make yourself and just as delicious, if not more so, as any store-bought variety. We provide in this video our basic recipe to get you started. Later, you can learn how to make more complex recipe combinations using superfoods and other natural sweeteners. Making Kombucha Tea There are many other teas and sugars besides black tea and cane sugar that you can use. These are simply the easiest for growing your first mushroom culture and are more foolproof for those new to making it. However, a kombucha tea recipe can be made out of any tea. This includes green tea, white tea, or any tea with caffeine. Also, you can use other sweeteners if you like, not just cane sugar. The culture eats the caffeine and sugar by the end of the fermentation process, so you won't be consuming it. Over time, you can experiment with using different natural sweeteners like raw honey, agave, yacon syrup, coconut sugar, or blends of all three. Different teas, sweeteners, herbs, fruits, and spices can offer different taste sensations and medicinal qualities. You can eventually develop your kombucha ferments into a form of liquid art, like fine wine. Kombucha can actually contain trace amounts of alcohol, so beware if you don't drink it. The alcohol content depends on the length of fermentation time and other factors. Some of you may remember a few years back when all kombucha brands were banned from the health food scene when they were found to contain small amounts of alcohol. However, once relabeled as containing alcohol, they were quickly back on the shelves. Basic Kombucha Recipe Generally, it takes about 7 to 10 days to ferment, but really it all depends on how you like it. Some people enjoy more acidic and tangy flavors, while others like it on the sweeter side. We personally always let it culture for 10 days. It is more medicinal when it is ripe and the sugar and caffeine content has been totally consumed by the mushroom culture. This ensures a successfully cultured, probiotic-rich kombucha drink. Tools you will need. A big pot, bowl, metal spoon, gallon glass jar, mesh cloth or lid. Ingredients. 3 tablespoons of black tea, 3 quarter cup of raw cane sugar, 3 quarts of spring water, 1 and a half cups of active kombucha, 1 kombucha mushroom culture. Active kombucha is the kombucha from the last batch of your kombucha recipe, or you may obtain the liquid from any store-bought kombucha that has not been pasteurized, which most have not. The kombucha mushroom culture is the gelatinous mass that grows on top of the liquid. It can be obtained by getting a mushroom from a friend who happens to make kombucha, as the culture always creates another mushroom every time you ferment it. You can also purchase freeze-dried mushrooms or follow the instructions further in this video for making your own using an active kombucha drink you can buy at the store. Directions Boil water in pot, add tea and turn off the heat, add raw cane sugar and stir until dissolved, let steep until cool with the lid on, strain tea into bowl, add active kombucha liquid, place in gallon glass jar, add the mother mushroom with opaque side up, cover with a mesh cloth, other cloth, or loose lid. Store on a countertop or in a cupboard space that is no warmer than 70 degrees. The cooler the temperature, the longer it takes to culture, so keep this in mind. Test your kombucha recipe after a week to 10 days. Sometimes it takes as long as two weeks depending on how you like it. If it is too sweet, it is not completely fermented and hasn't consumed the sugar. If it is too vinegary or sour, it has gone too long. 
Somewhere in the middle of sweet and sour is the best kombucha to drink for maximum health benefits. Making the kombucha mother mushroom. Of course it is easier if you can obtain a mother mushroom culture, but if not, you can make your own. Simply add the mature, active, non-pasteurized kombucha, commercial kombucha drink, to the base recipe above and let it form an initial mushroom over a period of time of up to two weeks or longer. Add the entire jar, 16 ounces of commercial kombucha to the base tea blend and leave a little room at the top of the jar for the culture to grow about a half inch thick. At the end of 10 days to two weeks, you should have a nice mother kombucha mushroom culture to start another batch. And of course, the liquid at the end is a fermented kombucha you can drink and enjoy. Have fun giving birth to your very own kombucha mushroom, as well as creating a delicious fermented homemade kombucha drink you and your family will savor. Thanks for watching, and for more fermented foods, visit superfoodsforsuperhealth.com. Please thumbs up this video if you found it useful.